Hey everyone, filmmaker and photographer TK North here. Now, if you're anything like me, when you first started doing video, you had all this footage sitting there. I didn't even really know how to get started when it came to editing. And I wish I had a little bit more guidance. So that's the sole aim of this video, to knock down some of those barriers that can stop us getting started when it comes to video editing. Although it can be a little bit intimidating, the editing process can also be the most rewarding. That's where your video will really start to take shape and turn into more of a meaningful creation or story rather than just separate video clips. So I'll be using Adobe Premiere Rush in this video and if you're just starting out with editing video, this is a really great editing software to get you started. It's available on both desktop and mobile. Once you get a little bit more comfortable and you wanna get a little bit more complex with your edits, you can also jump right into Premiere Pro. So regardless of what you're using, you can definitely still use these tips. So if you're new to video editing or you need a little bit more guidance, I wanted to start with six simple rules that you should consider when editing video. Now these are known as Murch's rule of six. So the first thing you want to consider is emotion. Always consider what you want your audience to feel when they're watching your video, the mood or feel you want to create. The second one is story. And that means considering if you're advancing the story in a meaningful way, does one clip to the next help advance the story in the right direction or not? The next one you want to consider is rhythm. That means looking if the timing feels right. Consider the timing of each clip, how long you may want to play out that clip, and also the movement that's occurring in each of the clips. Actually, it also helps develop a mood, so make sure you're considering this when you're cutting your videos. So the fourth one to consider, which is very important, is eye trace. This simply refers to wherever the viewer's eyes are going to be focused on the screen. This means taking into consideration how far the viewer's eyes will travel from one clip to the next. Wherever your subject is or point of focus, you don't want that to be jumping around too much in certain scenes when you're trying to build a mood. Number five is the 2D plane of movement. This one is more important if a scene has multiple characters in it, considering things like the 180 degree rule, stating that the camera should not cross over a line of 180 degrees to ensure the viewer can easily track each of the characters on screen. And lastly is the 3D space. This simply refers to whether the cut is true to establish physical and spatial relationships. Of course, some rules are made to be broken and as you get a little bit more experienced, you probably work out when it is a good time to break some of these rules and when you should probably follow them a little bit more strictly. So now that you've got a little bit more guidance, let's jump into some real practical tips for video editing. Practical tip number one, organize your footage. So this holds true regardless of whatever video editing software you're using. Organization is the key to a faster and better editing process. There's nothing worse than sitting down to edit and having your footage named and stored all over the place. Simple tips include using folders and saving your footage in one place before you even start editing. When using something like Premiere Rush on your phone, Find all your footage first, make a new folder or album on your phone and bring all those clips into one place. If you're working on a desktop, this is even easier to organize your footage. You can put it in different folders depending on which camera was used or different scenes. You can also rename all of your files, which will really speed up your process when you jump into Rush to start editing. Practical tip number two, watch everything. So this should be the very next step before you even start to cut any of your clips. Watch all your footage from start to finish. Once you've gone through and watched everything, you know exactly what you're working with. You'll have a better idea of where to cut the clips and you'll also find any little gems in some clips that maybe you won't even remember capturing in the first place. Practical tip number three, start assembling your clips and make a rough cut. So this is where you can start to bring all your footage into the timeline making sure that the frame size and frame rates are all consistent. Begin finding all the best takes and organize this in a way that is consistent with your video idea. Then begin to make the hard choices, choosing the best video clips to form a rough cut or a loose version of the story you want to tell. A good habit to get into is to frequently save your work in the cloud or on a hard drive. If you're using Premiere Rush, this is super handy as you can save it on the cloud on one device 
and it will open up ready to edit on another, which is a really handy feature if you're using Rush. Practical tip number four, start refining your footage. This is where your video starts to really resemble a finished product. You can start refining your footage and adjusting things like the sound and color, make sure the dialogue is audible and clear, and add music if you're using it. This is also a good time to add titles or any graphics you might be using. Try and hold off doing any of these steps until at least you have a rough cut of your video. Because I love color grading so much, it's easy for me to get carried away and start the color correction process before I've even finished cutting my clips. And I've definitely learned the hard way that it only adds time to your workflow. Hold off and do it all at once. It will save you so much time in the long run. Practical tip number five, keep on refining. Yep, you've got it. Just keep on refining and then refine again until you're happy with the finished product. At this stage, you may want to reassess the pacing of your scenes and ensure you're happy with it. Here, asking a friend or a peer, someone that you really value their opinion and you know is gonna give you some constructive feedback can be really useful as well before going in and making any final changes to your video. Now, the last thing that I wanted to cover really quickly was editing videos for social media. Although the same rules apply, there is a few extra things you want to consider when cutting your videos for social media. The first one you want to consider is the actual screen size and screen ratio. Obviously, a lot of social media platforms, for instance, will be vertical. So these are things you really need to consider when you're editing. The other thing you need to really consider is the shortened attention span. So whenever anyone's scrolling through social media, you need to grab their attention quickly. Movement can really help with this. Think faster cuts and interesting transitions, which can help grab people's attention quickly. Also think about the music that you're using, which can really help grab people's attention as well. So whatever the project, take your time with the edit, but remember the more practice you get, like anything, the better that you're going to get. So jump in and start video editing. You will learn more as you go. All right, that's it from me. I'm TK North. I hope you did find these tips really useful for video editing. You can find me on YouTube at TK North and on Instagram at TK underscore North. Be sure to hit me up if you do have any questions. And until next time, I do hope to see you soon. Bye for now.